Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. This is yet another follow-on to these CF2 disk drives. So I talked about a number of things within the CPC6128 repair and the Spectrum Plus 3 repair. I'll stick links to those uh, below and up here sequentially. Um, something else I've discovered with these. The belts, I've got a replacement belt, a few of them actually from Datasurf, and I found they just, they don't seem to last. I've had them in a week, and then it stopped working, or it slips, and I took the belt off, and it's, it's, it's slipping already. Brand new belts. So, I've been using elastic bands. If you get a small elastic band, as long as it's not too wide there, and it's flat, it will do the job. So I've got two drives here that work perfectly now with elastic bands. So uh, yeah, when your postman delivers your post through your letterbox with elastic bands wrapped around it, keep them because you can use them to fix these drives. The other thing is Robocop. I could not get my Robocop disc working with my CPC. And uh, as I mentioned in that Spectrum Plus 3 repair, I thought I'm going to try cleaning it the same way I cleaned that Plus 3 disc. So all I did is you start reading the disc, i.e. run disc or cat, lift this here, use the opposite side of the disc you want to clean, by the way. So this disc currently doesn't work on this CPC. If I type uh, run disc, you can't see what I'm doing, but just watch. So you can see it has a go it's not finding anything the LED is flashing but as you can see it's come up with retry ignore cancel so what you need to do is flip the disc over because you want to clean the side that it's actually reading the headers on the underside of the disc so this is the side where we're trying to read which ultimately means this is the side we want to clean so I've got the disc in again there and I've got my cotton bud so I'm just going to spray some soapy water onto this cotton bud just a little bit you can see it's damp and I'm going to press retry there just to get the drive spinning. You can see it's spinning. And the idea here is to wipe up and down with the cotton bud. You see that? See it's moist. And then go over the, the dry end of the cotton bud. And don't press too hard. You can see it's still moist there. And uh, just go up and down it a number of times slowly. Can you see it starting to dry off at that part there? I'll zoom in just so you can see that a bit clearer. And we've got some moisture down here. Still a bit damp down there. What you might find is you can blow a bit of air onto it. So let's give that another try. So you can see we've got a blue screen there. It just did a reseek, but I think it's working. Yeah, it's going up the tracks. Will we get the loading screen? That's fantastic. That is the first time I have had a loading screen on this disc. I think it's working. It seems to be loading again. Yep, still going. Fantastic. Yeah, that disc I thought was beyond. But you've just seen for yourself, that is exactly how you get a disc like that working. All I've used here is like a very low diluted washing up liquid. You know, like literally a little squirt, maybe less than 5%, mostly water. Uh, and obviously, you know, cotton bud and a, a dry end. You know, use two cotton buds if you, if you can. So the other thing I'll point out is I've just tested my other drive here. Let me show you this one. I'll show you this one's working as well now. And there's an, another issue, another issue that's worth pointing out about these drives. That's something else I've not covered yet. This sensor here, this, as I talked about in the first part, is to do with uh, timing. Not RPM timing, it, it's used to find sector zero, I think. I think this is what this sensor is used for. So in the center of the disc, I'll take this disc out of here, you've got that little hole there. So as that, you know, there's a hole in the actual disc, as it spins around, it breaks the beam of light from here to the bottom uh, sensor down there. So of course you can get dust into the, the bottom bit. I don't know, you can see it just on there. There's a little cavity with a little hole. It's like a little metal thing on the bit below. You can get dust in there if you're not careful. But what I had to do on this drive, this had been detached previously. So I thought, and this one was struggling. This this disc here was struggling. It wouldn't come up with a loading screen at all. It would load the first part and then not load the loading screen. So I thought, I wonder if it's something to do with this because that has been moved. And I just shifted it 
a quarter of a millimetre one way and you know, unscrewed that, shifted a little bit, tied it up, put it back in. It worked first time, loaded all the way through. Prior to that, I had tried this disc we just cleaned and tested on here. It was working every single time in this drive. It wouldn't get to the loading screen on this one. I think once or twice it just got little bits of loading screen, like a couple of lines or corruptions, but it wouldn't load. As soon as I adjusted that, it loads instantly. So that is a key factor in terms of you know well obviously finding sector zero so if you've adjusted that or you've got a problem with your drive just contemplate just moving that a little bit you could perhaps mark it on the chassis here just so you know with red mark on the metal part there just so you know exactly where it was and you could just try it trial it very small movements one way or the other you know and screw it down each time and retry we'll do two complete loads now just to show you this disc is working um, I'm very pleased though because it means I've got a working copy of Robocop for the CPC. Yep, that's loading. We've got a blue screen at the moment and then it should go black. And then, all being well, we should get the loading screen. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, brilliant. Fantastic. I'm chucked to bits. So, thank you very much to Yellow Belly for providing that. It's, uh, you know, obviously it wasn't working when it came to me. I'm pretty sure he knew that it was, uh, you know, it needed to clean. So that's now two CF2 discs on a few different videos here that I have cleaned and both of them have uh, come back to life. And I think it goes without saying that when you try something like this, after you've tried it and it's not worked very well, i.e. it's made a bit of progress but maybe the loading screen is still not working, take the disc out, clean your head with IPA as you've seen me do on other videos you know so it squeaks you know squeak the surface there you're pressing down with the IPA on the on the head not there let me just show you you've seen it all before there just you know wipe on that with a cotton bump with some IPA and then use the dry end retry it also be persistent I found on the previous CF2 disc it was a case of a gradually made progress it's like it started to load whereas previously it wouldn't load and then I cleaned it a second time and it got a bit further and then I cleaned it with the soap and water because originally I used dry cotton buds and by the time I've done it three times and cleaned the heads a few times that of the disc on that spectrum plus three started working perfectly every single time um, so this one was a little bit easier and there's only one side to this disc so uh, yeah there's nothing on that side so we'll just quickly swap this over. I'm going to test the other drive now just to make sure that that is still working after doing that little adjustment to the uh, sector zero sensor there. So those data serve belts, I've had three now, new, and they haven't lasted more than a week. So we've got the black screen, it seems to be loading the loading screen, that's worked. And I think it's loading the levels now. Taking ages to do that, but yes, it's worked fantastic. So, brilliant. Both drives working with elastic bands, both drives working with that game. Hope you found the video interesting. If you'd like to support the channel, please see the coffee and Patreon links down below. Catch you in the next video.